Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, <coughs> thank you for coming uh, to this afternoon session. It's uh, titled Navigating the Regulation Nightmare in Offshore Transactions, um, which is a slightly dramatic title uh, given to such a dry subject. Uh, and um, I suspect that either you've wandered into the wrong um, session uh, or you think that we might skip through this fast enough to give you a fast track out to the cocktail party afterwards. Um, we'll, we'll try and do both. Um, my name's Martin Livingston. I'm a partner at a firm called Maples and Calder, uh, which has a presence in a number of offshore jurisdictions, including certain onshore jurisdictions. Uh, I head up our regulatory financial services practice, uh, and so unfortunately the topics of today's session are our bread and butter. Um, there's no avoiding that. Um, I'm very honoured today to be able to introduce uh, my co-panellists and to my right uh, I have Gonzalo Hales who is uh, the CEO of Cayman Finance uh, and in that role uh, he has to keep a finger on the pulse of many policy developments not only within the Cayman Islands but also internationally. Uh, Gonzalo's background ha has him uh, latterly working at HSBC for the last 10 years uh, and his most recent role there was as Managing Director of HSBC Cayman. He's also been President of the Bankers Association and a member of many consultancy um, groups and committees in the Cayman Islands on policy development and legislation. Uh, and to his right, we are very pleased to have Robert Snedeker from uh, the Regulatory Fundamentals Group uh, based in New York. Robert's a Managing Consultant uh, and his group or firm uh, advises and assists investment managers uh, and investors in the fund space. Uh, so similarly, they are um, uh, embedded in uh, the US regulatory developments and uh, we're very thankful to have Robert give us his perspective from the US uh, today. Um, if you were to try and, and draw a thread through each of our presentations today, um, there's one common theme. Um, I'm going to be, sorry, first of all it will be Gonzalo, and Gonzalo's going to have a quick look at FATCA. Um, and for those of you that are new to FATCA, we might have to apologize up front. I'm, I'm conscious that uh, this conference in particular, and many others, has been uh, delivering a session on FATCA for the last couple of years. Uh, so we've made a, a slight assumption that you're, um, you're already schooled in the basics of FATCA. Uh, Gonzalo, I believe, is going to be focusing more on where we're at now uh, with a particular focus on the IGAs, the Intergovernmental Agreements. Robert's going to give us his perspective uh, from the US looking outwards, the onshore legislation that's creeping offshore uh, with a particular focus on Dodd-Frank and the CFTC rules and any attendant requirements coming out of that that might affect, affect you and your business offshore. And lastly, I'm going to be looking at uh, two other acronyms called AIFMD uh, and EMEA. Uh, and up until about a month ago, I thought an EMEA was a very important person in the Middle East. Unfortunately, it's not, um, or it's not at least solely that. Uh, it's another EU form of regulation uh, that is mirrored uh, on the US side under one of the titles of Dodd-Frank. Um, so as you can tell, there's obviously um, a common theme here and really the session could be could have been retitled the extraterritorial application of onshore legislation offshore but if we had titled it that way I think we probably would have got half the audience here um, nonetheless that's going to be the uh, the focus in terms of structure each speaker is going to give you about 10 or 15 minutes uh, presentation of their slides uh, which should leave us about 10 minutes at the end uh, hopefully not not cutting into any um, refreshments afterwards for Q&A uh, but being on the graveyard shift we're very conscious of timing and we also realize that um, we are the three men that stand between you and sex on the beach um, which I understand is the featured cocktail this evening at uh, the sponsored event. Um, so without any further ado, I'd uh, ask Gonzalo to kick things off with his, uh, his rundown on where we stand with FACA. Okay, thank you. Uh, thanks everybody again. Thanks again for choosing to be here. Um, you probably heard about FACA many times and from many people, uh, 
but probably it's going to be a few times you hear about FATCA from somebody that is not an accountant and not a lawyer. Uh, so I'm going to try to tackle it a little bit differently, uh, being a banker and, and an economist. Um, oh, sorry. What happened? 